Hello everyone, Son of Beast here, and we are here for the first game of for the doubleheader tonight. Right now, this is game four of the Stanley Cup Conference Finals of the Kraken and Avalanche. Now, as we were saying it before, Seattle Kraken have never won the Stanley Cup, but the first annual was turned to be a horrible year for the start of 2022 postseason, and they've already been eliminated. But now, this year, in 2023, they are back for the second annual. It got better and better. They wanted to make it back, and they wanted to do it again. As for me, this time, it's a tough one that you can never raise up because they're a very top competitive team like they always did. Now as for being standing along, I'll be back here for the post game show. As right now, there's just a little quick announcement. And of course, I'll be back with the second game of the NBA back in Mile High. As right now, Seattle Kraken is where this next one takes on. Jay and Greg along with Kelly, let's get started. Enjoy your next game and let's get going. Still no score this game. They're trying to look for a way to make the extension or tie it. Right now, no score this game. Oh, 
pays off. Uh, right when the anthem finished, these guys were on it. They've done a really terrific job and are well rewarded for that first goal. Balmar goal. His fourth goal in the playoffs of the goat of the postseason, scored by number 28, Lawrence Heller. His first assist here by number 25, Luke O'Connor. And by number four, Pat Brian Byron. Time to go 544 remaining in the first period of the of the game. We're with a comment of school here for Lars Eller, 1436 in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs.
cover there. More than half the period has gone by. I hope you're enjoying this one. The Avs lead it 1 0. And as the puck is dropped, they win the drop here inside the defensive zone. The Avs will play it in their own end. Six a good playoff game. Score by number 22, Holler Borchardt. His first assist here by number 21, Alex Wimber. And by number and number 14, Jaden Schwartz. Dominic goal, 14 -01 remaining in the first period. For the time of the possession here for the Oliver Borchardt. Here for the time of the first period. 445 remaining in a Stanley Cup playoffs on the first period. Nice solid entry from the right side. Great extension on his part to poke it away. Guns cross the line and is on the attack now. A spirit and battle along the boards for the puck. Quick feed down low. Pass broken up. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. One minute remaining in the first period. One minute.
Coming down to the end right now for the first period. Still tied up. The next one will be the winning face-off and get a break. Colorado goal, his 16th goal in the playoffs, scored by number 20, Lars Eller, the second goal of the game. The first assistant here by number 25, Luke Logs O'Connor, and by number 38, Alexander Giogiev. Dominic will fight, 26 remaining in the four, second period. 14, 36 remaining inning in the first period for a time, time on play for Lars Ellers at the Stanley Cup playoffs.
His ninth goal in the playoff score by number 49, Samuel Giroux. His first assist is here by number 20, Lars Cox. Top of the goal, 12 13 remaining in the third, second period. Top of the goal here for the Lars, for Samuel Giroux, 7 23 remaining in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. 
Penalty for Colorado, two minutes for Sashi. Two minute penalty penalty for Colorado. Brown and Byron is slashing. Time and a penalty, a minute and 45 remaining in the second period. Gordon Crockett power play. One minute remaining in the second period of the game. One minute. For slashing. Two minute major penalty for Urgery Lacrone. Time for slashing. Time and a penalty, 27 seconds in the second period. Put it cracking, five on three power play. Campiano's ready for the draws that will continue to try to kill off this penalty. And there's the horn. Down, one more to go. Both teams will get a 
a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. Hey folks, it's your boy, me phone 4 here, for your MCS host of the Anime Insanity Invitational. Now for the next game, as we're ready to be seeing the next one in the Western Conference chain, as we're staying in the West Coast of the Pacific team, between those two in the range, from Central Division and from the Pacific Division, from the range and off from here for the West Coast. Here's one way that we are about to be seeing the Lakers and the Nuggets. That's going to be next year, coming up here at 9.30 p.m. tonight. So make sure you catch one now. If you don't, then you can watch it anytime here from Son of Beast on his channel. By subscribing to him, to his channel, you'll get more and more notifications here on your devices. So make sure you're ready to keep it in to start for your part of the goal. And there may be one way that you can try to figure out what will it be, Kraken or Colorado. Your obvious call is your, is your choice. Now, let's finish up the third period and stay tuned for the quick announcement as we'll have the next game ready to get going here as one of the commentaries will be ready to have it all. And don't forget, leave a comment box below if you want to see the new matchups of a Stanley Cup Sorry, the NHL's new season of 24 for, for season 3. So make sure you leave a comment box below and find out which team do you want to see them play against. It's your call. Back to you, Jay and Greg. Bird period's up. Let's do it, and I'll see you guys later on the other side. Two remaining in the third period of the game. So, with the time of that one for JT Pop, there are 17 48 remaining in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Short handed goal right from Powell play. Cracking, more slashing. After this penalty, the players just look at each other. What's already been a bad night is getting a little worse. The Avs get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Coaches always talk about the importance of excellent. Two minute penalty for Seattle Cracking. Number, number 23. And number three, Jaden Schwartz. Time of the penalty, 16.45 remaining in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. 
for Colorado Power Play. Puts it down the ice, we'll get an icing. Lindbergh's side still short-handed here as they slide in for the face-off. Seattle's got it and they're on the attack. Small play, but a key play. Now you've got possession in the offensive zone. Throws it to the middle! Scored by number 13, Larry Nishishka. This first assist here by number 34, Al Hagans and Lackman. Time to go, 4.56 remaining in the third period. Tom Verdepen for Larry Nishishka and the power play goal, 15.02 in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs.
That's an easy one, James. That's a trick every time. In a head-to-head -head matchup tonight, who had the better performance? McKinnon's got my vote in this game, guys. Neither player we talked about earlier has been able to get on the board, but despite that... Two minute penalty for Colorado Avalanche. Not new to, new to Idaho with a trip in. Tom and Bell, the 228 remaining. Pretty cracking power play. Looking to set up offensively. Here's a short pass to Bill. And he gets in front of that. A grab by the fire. And they send it down the ice. The Kraken have the puck in their own zone. From on the walls, they're gaining momentum. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Georgiev's gonna bounce on and he'll take the whistle. 
He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's going to take it. Chance to reset here on the draw, this man advantage. like that Seattle Kraken did not get the win here for game four, only game one and three was the last one that came here. But now the Avs, they are climbing back in. They say, we are, we are not going to lose here. We are just going to keep it alive and ready to head back home in Mile High. Well, I might have been thinking, what is this all about? Nothing kills you the momentum. Let's have your three star players of the game, starting off with number three to one. The third star goes out to Valerie Luchushkin with a goal and a hit. That turned to be a power play, bam, and right, right around the goaltender. The second star on the other side, the same thing, it goes with Lars Eller with two goals and assist. Almost got a hat trick out there, but two goals is definitely fair. Got that one right through it. Very good run. And your first star goes to Alexander Georgiev. 54 saves, .982 percentage of his saving ability. The total statistics are right on the right hand side of the screen. 45, 55 over 43 for our total shots on goal for Seattle. 17 over 14 for Seattle. 638 on a time on attack over 627. Then it's 92 over 91 for Colorado. 25 face-off wins over 20 as they trailed with the face-off win by 5 for Colorado. Sorry for Seattle. 6-minute penalty kill was Colorado and 2-minute penalty kill was Seattle. Only a power play goal for Colorado that turned out to Chushkin. A minute and 30 for power play for Colorado and 5-17 for Seattle and a short-handed goal for Colorado. So that means the series is tied. The next one can be going for a lead to take a 3-2 lead in between Colorado or Seattle. 
So that wraps it up with the first game. I hope everybody's enjoying your day off, and the Pride Week is what we all know for. Thanks for tuning us in, and peace out, folks, for a while as the Stanley Cup playoffs of the Western Conference Finals on EA Sports style. We'll see you all later here in the other side at 9.30 p.m. tonight at Mile High as the Denver Nuggets take on the Los Angeles Lakers. See you in just a bit. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.